Seeing one of these in a grocery store is quite common. Seeing one on top of a house is not. Welcome to The Onion House in Tower Grove South. It was nicknamed The Onion House. The previous owner tells us uh, for three reasons. The Onion Dome, um, the many layers that it has on every surface in the house, just from people building up materials, and then also the ability for it to make you cry when you know how much money <laughs> you have to sink into it. Meet homeowners Kirsten and Patrick Combe. They are renovating and restoring the home with some help from federal and state historic tax credits. We uh, kind of ripped it of its insides and we are putting in all new life into it. For one of them, this house was love at first sight. When I met him, he was telling me about an exciting old home that he had found that he was in the midst of closing on. I fell in love with it right when I found it. It had an empty lot next door and, you know, as a gardener and a chicken farmer and all the above, it was just, it made sense to me. As soon as um, I came and did a walkthrough, I thought he was pretty crazy because it was in pretty rough shape. The Onion Dome is quite common in other parts of the world. It's usually associated with Russian architectural style, but it's also used in churches in European countries, like Germany. It was built in 1892 uh, by a German cabinet maker that came here from Bremen, Germany, named Gephard Ludwig, and he came with his family. They took the boat over from Germany, landed, found this lot, which was being sold by the Russell Coal Mines. The adjoining lot, which is actually empty right now and we own it, was the lot of his son, Leonhard. It stayed in their family for almost 50 years, and then the house actually started getting split up into three, so from a mansion to apartments. Tearing down walls proved to be somewhat of a treasure hunt. We found a bunch of weird things uh, in the house. So there's a whole newspaper. This was the German. Uh, post-dispatch equivalent basically. This is 1930s, a little coffee tin. These are kind of fun. These are just like the nails they used to use, so they man-made nails, right? So these are square. You can see the like edges on them. And we pulled back lots of hand-painted wall covering and lots of things from the arts and crafts movement around that time period. Once it's complete, the house will be seven bedrooms, four and a half baths, and the rear building will be an Airbnb. The layout is extremely odd, so we, it's hard to figure out how they originally had it because we've got three staircases in different locations, a full basement, a full attic third floor. Technically, I've been demoing for a year and a half hardcore. I think we plan to finish in, in March. Hopefully, all things stay the same. Um, that's when our apartment lease is up, so <laughs> it better. It's a house that's already kind of a big deal. Came with its own email address. And now it even has its own Instagram page with over 19,000 followers. Which is really cool. From the Ludwigs to the Combs, a new layer of history is starting to show through by transforming this old onion into one that's just a little sweeter. The old was just done a little different. It was done a little more thoughtful. And uh, when you see the fun edges and the, the detail on the uh, carpentry, it's just something that you don't see anymore. And when you have it and it's yours, it's, it's nice to look at and feel like you're connected to the past.